pivotal moment at the end of the Bengals Steelers game. It looked like wide receiver Tyler Boyd's knee was down before he fumbled, but the call on the field was upheld and Pittsburgh took possession and salted away the clock for the victory. All right, for some clarification, it is time for official review with the NFL's vice president of officiating, Dean Blandino. Let's keep it simple. Uh, why wasn't that Boyd play overturned? Looked like the knee was down. It did look like the knee was down, but that's the key. It looked like it. Can we prove it? And when we're looking at these plays in replay, we always start with the ruling on the field, and then we have to see clear and obvious evidence that the ruling on the field is incorrect in order to overturn it. It's got to jump out. You watch the play live, first shot. You're looking at, first is it a catch? Control, two feet, turns up field, braces for the contact. So that's the first thing we're going to look at. Then did the right knee hit the ground before he lost control? We had several replays, and it was just too close to change. You're going to see the right knee hit the ground there, but we just can't see what's happening with the football. We're blocked out by the leg of the defender. We're going to get two more looks at it, and again, does it jump out? Is it a clear and obvious mistake? A sideline shot where the ball looks like it just might start to come loose just as the knee hits. And then one more look at it from the other angle. And again, the knee is down. The ball may just be coming out. You really don't have a definitive look. That's why the call on the field stood. Dean, Josh Norman and Odell Beckham Jr. facing off again for the first time since that ugly matchup last year that was almost like a boxing match between the two of them. How are you going into this one, and what are you telling your crew that's going to be working this game about these two gentlemen? So before every game, our crew gets a scouting report, and that includes video clips, different things they can expect from the two teams, formations, tendencies. And anytime there's a history between two teams, players, that's part of that report. Typically, divisional matchups, rivalry games, we want to make sure we maintain control. And when there's a history between two players, obviously we can't ignore that. And the crew will be aware of it. And, uh, and just like any other game, we want to take that first opportunity to set the tone and be a presence early, let the emotion die down so we can just get, get down to playing football. And, uh, and that's what we expect from the game on Sunday, and, and I think it's going to be a great matchup. Going to be a lot of eyeballs on these two. Dean Blandino, the NFL's vice president of officiating, thanks for joining us on Gray Suit Tuesday.